All right. What is up, traders? What's up, tycoons? Super excited for today's video. We're coming at you guys with a Cardano video update. This is a viewer request. I do these viewer requests every single week. So if you want to see your token or crypto in the next video, all you got to do is comment down below. Cardano has been trading, according to the technicals, very well. Uh, and, you know, in my past few videos, these are just some of the simple setups that we've gone over. Uh, there's been lots of wedges forming here. We had a rising wedge initially here. and We caught the move down. All right. And then we went on this downtrend where we were respecting the Fibonacci levels and continuing to make retracements. Um, ultimately, until we broke out past our retracements, we ended up forming another rising wedge here coming down and uh, hitting our major support level here of right around 30 cents. Um, and as you can see, we were bearish below this level. Uh, and if we were going to break through this level, then ultimately that's when we we're going to see that rising wedge play out and perhaps take us back down to our previous lows around the 25 cents area. But rather, it seems to me that we're getting a bullish three-wave structure. Markets love to move in three-wave and five-wave structures, right? For instance, we have one, two, three, four, five down here. And then we are getting possibly a one, two, three correction to the upside. Uh, we did just hit our first bullish price target of 44 cents. So make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel because I literally gave you guys the key level and showed you guys the pattern that we had. Not only did we have a chart pattern, we had bearish divergence. Um, and, you know, I'm going to teach you guys how to use some of these things. Now, before we go any further, the uh, content provided in this YouTube channel is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to be relied upon as legal, financial or investment advice. Myself and any individuals uh, that appear in this channel are not registered financial advisors or brokers. Trading in stocks, bonds, commodities and crypto involve a significant risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. So make sure to you know read through the full disclaimer. All right, we're going to go into it. And um, what we're going to do is actually go to the weekly chart time frame right now. And so the reason that I use these set of three lines so much is what we have is the 61.8, the 50%, and the 38.2% retracement levels. These are the three most common and well-respected retracement levels uh, when it comes to using the FIBs. And you use these because nothing moves in a straight line down and nothing moves in a straight line up. Rather, you get a move down, a retracement, and then a continuation of that trend, or you can get a move up, retracement, continuation of that trend. So that's why we look at these retracement levels. And if you can break through your retracement, levels, you can potentially spot reversals, right? So if you move up, retrace, consolidate, and then break through those retracement levels, that's possibly a downside reversal. OK, and if you move down, retrace, consolidate and break above those retracement levels, that's potentially an upside reversal. So if we look at, you know, what we have right now, this is our most recent high that I'm using on the weekly chart. Right. You see that we had a very strong downtrend after there and really didn't get uh, much of a retracement. OK, we kind of were just trading in this uh, channel right here. Uh, and now we have broken out, okay? But if you notice, we are currently in healthy retracement territory right now. We just got past the 50% retracement level, which was about 0.417. And above there, our 61.8% retracement level is going to be 0.459. So let's just call that 46 cents. That's going to be a very key level, all right, to pay attention to. Ultimately, we're going to need to break through these retracement levels and flip 46 cents to support from resistance to really get a stronger push and and ultimately try and get the reversal that we're looking for. You notice how we retraced, we've consolidated, right? And we're consolidating now. And we do have a chance of breaking through those retracement levels. But keep in mind, um, you know, bear market rallies tend to be very, very strong. OK, and, um, you know, a lot of people get suckered into buying the top. So, you know, even if we come up to 46 cents, guys, it ultimately, if we're not able to break out past there, we could end up just putting in a healthy retracement to try and continue the downtrend or head back down. Now, we do have this strong bullish channel right here that we've been trading in. As you can see, we're really just trading in this train uh, in this channel right here. And this is very algorithmic, right? This is very systematic buying right now that we're seeing. And, you know, buyers are just stepping in anytime. We're at the lower end of the channel and sellers are stepping in, um, but, you know, it's controlled selling and we're staying within this channel right now. And I'm going to be looking to see, you know, do we get a breakout to the upside of this channel or do we get a breakout to the downside of this channel? Now, those are the key levels that I'm watching on the weekly chart, basically the major resistance. And as I mentioned, if we can get above 46 cents and flip that from resistance to support, then we are going to be bullish above there and potentially be targeting a retest of our previous highs here around the 50 to 60 cents uh, area. OK, now we also do have a falling wedge again right here, right? Indicated by these two trend lines, you can see we had a breakout retest of that trend line and we held the trend line very well. 
um, you know, all of the weekly candlesticks here closed above that trend line and we're starting to push up higher. And remember, I said markets like to move in these three wave and five wave structures. And we got a one, two, three as well right here that we're looking at currently. Now, uh, let's go over to the daily time frame, okay, and zoom in a little bit more and go to our daily time frame as well. There's lots of really good signals and indicators in here, um, you know, especially when it comes to the MACD and the RSI. So I'm going to explain how to use those, what divergences are, how we were able to spot this move to the downside, and how I was able to tell that these were the main levels of support uh, to look for to see if we we're going to be able to bounce and continue going higher, all right? <clears throat> Before we go any further, guys, quick shout out to today's sponsor, Tangem. Okay, Tangem is a cold storage wallet, and it is in the shape of a credit card, guys. It looks like a regular credit card, and it functions without any batteries, wires, and connectors. It's awesome. I have one. I really love to use it. Uh, this is mine right here, okay? And I also have two backups as well. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, download the Tangem app today. It's super, super easy, guys, and you can purchase a pack of two or three cards. Uh, and very easy to use. All you have to do is scan and activate, set up a password, and you can start making transactions. All right, so go to the Tangem app store. All right, make your purchase. And if you use code exactly, like the channel name is exactly trades, you guys will get a discount on your purchase. Okay. Uh, it takes about one to three minutes to set up, and that's it, right? It literally is this simple to set up. It took me about two minutes to get mine going. Uh, there's no cords. You don't have to plug it into your computer, you don't have to plug it into a laptop or anything like that. There's over 2,700 cryptocurrencies currently that it's compatible with, and it's also DeFi compatible, which I love, okay? You can exchange, buy NFTs, make loans and deposits in more than 100 different decentralized applications with the help of Wallet Connect. It's compatible with OpenSea, with Uniswap, Aave, we have SpookySwap on here, guys, Trader Joe, Curve Finance, Yearn Finance, uh, and many more as well. Now, what's really awesome about it, okay, is this thing is life proof, guys. All right. It's waterproof. You can completely submerge in the water and it will be fine. It will still work. Okay. Um, it's also freeze proof, right? So this, you know, you can you can freeze it, okay? You can actually literally freeze it uh and it will still work. It's also heat resistant as well. Um, so I really love this thing. Uh, you know, I have one personally. I wouldn't steer you guys in the wrong direction, okay? Uh, it's not a good idea to keep your money on these exchanges, right? Everybody has seen now what's happened with, um, you know, BlockFi, what's happened with Gemini, what's happened with Voyager, what's happened with FTX, okay? Uh, you're not really safe keeping your money on the exchanges. So not your keys, not your crypto. Make sure that you actually own your cryptocurrency and you put it on a cold storage wallet. And I highly recommend the Tangent wallet. Uh, it's really great. It's super awesome. And it looks, it looks freaking sweet, guys, okay? Uh, even my parents think it's cool and they barely know anything about crypto. So Download the app today, okay? Go to the Tangem app uh, and then make a purchase. Use code exactly, all right? That will support the channel and also get you guys a discount as well. So the first thing that I really want to show you guys and go over is going to be the divergences. So take a look how we have a high right here indicated by that circle. Then we have a higher high right here as well. If you look, the token's clearly in an uptrend. But on the RSI, we have a high and then we actually get lower high. So what we're doing is we're decreasing in relative strength, making lower highs while the price is going higher and increasing in price, making higher highs. This is a simple term known as bearish divergence. And when you combine that with a couple other indicators, such as a chart pattern, right? It, you can really help give yourself an edge and uh, potentially foresee some of these downward movements, right? And so we had bearish divergence with that chart pattern. OK, but what I did here, all right, was I used the Fibonacci levels, all right, which I explained earlier to give myself the major levels to know where if this is healthy retracement territory or if we're going to consolidate and break below here and get a downside reversal. Right. And you can see, um, you know, I took the swing low here from January. All right. And to the swing high, we had a very strong move up retracement. And now we've continued that trend and actually put in a new high and hit that first bullish price target that I gave you guys. Okay, above 44 cents, we have 48 cents. And then above there, we have 53 cents. Keep in mind the uh, large levels on the weekly chart that we're paying attention to. 
All right, and the opposite of a bearish divergence is going to be a bullish divergence. So that happens when you have a low and then a lower low. So this time the price is clearly in a downtrend, but if you look at your RSI, we have a low and then we have a higher low, right? So this time we're actually increasing in relative strength while price action is decreasing. Um, and this is a term known as bullish divergence. And look at where we bounced here recently, guys. Also, when we came down and fell to our major support level, we also retested our initial bullish divergence trend line and then we got a very strong break and retest of our bearish divergence trend line indicating that this uh upwards move was strong and there was lots of strength behind it and bulls really took advantage of uh the opportunity when presented the opportunity to really push price up higher okay so um that's pretty much it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it and appreciate this update if you did smash that like button and subscribe to the channel um, and if you want to see your token or your crypto in the next video, all you got to do is comment down below and I'll be happy to get to it as soon as I can. Don't forget to go download the Tangem app today. All right. And use code Zachly for a discount on your purchase.